If you couldn't tell, we are officially in the hottest month of the year. Let's welcome Margot Parrish, owner of Sandy Paws, who is back to share some tips on how to best care for our pets during these hot summer months. And you also brought back Parma. Yes. So happy to have you back. And now, Thanks. when we talk about, you know, the summer months, I feel like a primary concern for our pets is hydration, Yes. right? So how do we best keep our dogs hydrated and know when they've had enough? Yeah, dead? it's it, if you're hot, the dog is hotter. Like, that's the truth. And, you know, you see all the things about if the if the temperature outside is this and the sidewalks are this, That that's really true. And um, so a lot of things to take precaution and try to, like, make it so it's not as hot and that it's, you know, doable for you and the dog as well. Um, walk, walk early, walk later, walk when it's not, you know, scorching hot. Uh, the beach is a really good option as well, especially if you go out to Sullivan's, the Sullivan's, you know, beach collars, they have those. Folly, IOP, really good to get your dogs. If they love the beach, water really cools them off. Um, the pool, bring your dog to your pool and your, I mean, take precautions with that, obviously, but make sure that they're hydrated, lots of water. A lot of things that we recommend too are putting water in your dog's food, even if they do like wet food or kibble, put it down with some water just so that they're drinking, they're staying hydrated while they're eating. And then we've collaborated with a broth company before called Brutus Broth. They're great. They're at Harris Teeter, Amazon. We've worked with them for a few years and they make dog broth instead of, you know, when humans are sick, they drink, you know, chicken broth and bone broth and stuff like that. It's the same for dogs. It will keep them hydrated. They have different flavors. Parma loves the salmon. She's partial to it. <laughs> um, but we, they have like little shake packets, little to-go packets, and you can bring them on the go, shake them in a water bottle and give it to your dog. But just any kind of hydrating with sodium to keep them electrolytes. Same as humans. When you don't feel good, you drink a Gatorade or a vitamin water. Same idea mm -hmm. for and dogs. So, so this broth is good for like year round. It's like. Yes, year round. Put it on top of their food, have it as a treat. You can freeze it if your dog likes ice cubes. Put it like in a treat, you know, whole whole thing. That is the so dogs cool. love it. Yeah, yeah, there's tons of different flavors. So Brutus broth if you want to do that too. But that's yeah. just been one that we've worked with and that we really like and all the dogs that I give it to, beef, chicken, pork, and salmon. Just yeah. they like all the flavors. And something else I've seen is, you know, you see the dogs walking with the little booties on, yes. right? Yeah. Is that something you recommend? We, do they work? We have some clients that use them so we like strap them on before they walk and stuff. A lot of dogs don't. A lot of times right now though during the summer we either have clients that recommend that we walk their dogs for a shorter amount of time or that they just go to the park um, we keep the AC blasting though, you know, put them next to that fan, make sure that they're drinking enough water while they're walking, after they're walking. Bring the pop-up containers while you're on a walk, bring a water with you. Just any ways to keep them hydrated, you know, because you don't want to be probably out there that long either. Yeah. So now, are there any breeds or like types of dogs that are more susceptible to heat exhaustion? Yes. A lot of times they say like the bully breeds or the, you know, bulldogs, French bulldogs, pugs, anything with the like more closed in mouth and nose. It's really hard for them to breathe in any situation regardless. So they like do not need to be in the heat for an extended amount of time because they can react you know, way differently. She loves the heat. The heat does not, uh, nothing phases her. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she loves the heat. She will literally lay outside, mm -hmm. but she has a water bowl out there and our house is right there and coming into air conditioning. Mm -hmm. But older dogs, don't leave them outside for a long time. Don't walk them for a long time. They'll, I mean, a lot of times they can't, you know, tell you if they're tired, but you can see it. Um, especially, you know, check their eyes, make sure that they, you know, aren't like glaring off. Mm -hmm. Check their nose if it's wet. Um, Parma's nose is wet. She had some water before. Inside their gums, if it's like a discoloration, usually not like that red color, if it's something else, yeah. like a white or like a purple, um, just make sure that they're staying hydrated. You can That's a sure way to tell and mm -hmm. make sure that they're being fed and that they just feel good. Yeah, and now tell us a little bit about Sandy Paws. Um, Sandy Paws, um, I've been doing it three years now. It's changed my life. I'm with dogs 24 seven, non, non-stop. I was with dogs before, that's why my hair is up. Um, <laughs> I'll go to dogs after this. Um, it's just been great. We do walks, drop-ins, pet taxi services, like a little pet Uber. We do overnights. Um, the dog can come to your house. Dogs can come to our house. They can be crated, some sleep in beds with us. Um, it's just the whole, it's more personalized. It's like that you're staying, you know, in an Airbnb as opposed to, you know, like a hotel. It yeah. gives the, the benefits of that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm sure that you book up 
you know. Yes, so yeah. We people have people contact us all the time in regards to booking um, on our website at sandypaulschs.com. We have an Instagram at sandypaulschs. Our email's on there. We have a submission form as well. People email us anytime between, you know, last minute bookings or months in advance. It's, it's really hard to say just because it depends on what, you know, some of the employee schedules are and what your schedule is. I know that things change, but we just recommend, you know, emailing as early as possible to get feelers out to see who's available. And, you know, everybody has their personal preferences for their dogs or if they'd like them to be at their house or somebody else's or if they have, you know, they're a puppy, they have specific needs, we give medication. And, mm -hmm. we, and before we know it, it'll be Labor Day. Yes. So and Thanksgiving the, and, and Christmas. And, oh my goodness, it's so crazy. But um, sandypawschs.com is where you can go. I want to thank you so much for joining yeah, us again. Thanks. It's always a pleasure. It's fun. Yeah. We're and back thanks. in two minutes. <laughs>